A lot of growers are out and doing side dress on their corn crop. And one of the questions that's come up repeatedly here with these extreme weather events is, should I be considering a nitrogen stabilizer? So there's a couple different options on the market for what's available. I just wanted to run through how a few of them work so that way you can make the best decision for the type of conditions you have in your field. The first type of stabilizer we should talk about is called a urease inhibitor. And what that does is it prevents an enzyme that lives in our soil called urease from breaking down urea. And urea would be a large component of a lot of the side dress products that we use. 50% of the nitrogen in 28 and 32% or 100% of the nitrogen in pelletized urea comes from that form. What that enzyme does is it splits urea into carbon dioxide and ammonium. That's good, that's a plant available form, but we don't want that process to happen quickly. When we have warm, dry conditions, especially with moist soil surface, that process happens fast and that becomes a leachable or losable form of nitrogen. So we'd wanna look at a urease inhibitor when we have these hot, dry conditions. A second type of nitrogen inhibitor we'd look at would be a volatilization inhibitor. And that works by preventing ammonium nitrogen, which is 25% of our UAN, from volatilizing back into the air and becoming atmospheric nitrogen. There's quite a few of these on the market, and they also come into play once that urea breakdown process has happened and it's broken down into ammonia, then it becomes subject to volatilization. So those are critical products we should be looking at when we are faced with warm and dry hot conditions. The third common type of nitrogen stabilizer I wanted to talk about is called a nitrification inhibitor. And it works down here in the lower right part of our nitrogen cycle. And what it does is it, act, it works against the bacteria that converts ammonium nitrogen form over to the nitrate form. And this is a type of uh, stabilizer we would consider if we were in wet soil conditions. So if we had waterlogged soils. If those soils are well drained, once that nitrogen becomes nitrate, then it's prone to leaching through the drainage system. If those soils are poorly drained, then on the other side of the coin, it can denitrify and get returned into atmospheric nitrogen in that process. So if we're in waterlogged conditions, we wanna be considering a nitrification inhibitor. So those are three of the major types that are available on the market. Make sure to talk with uh, your retailer or your agronomist, whoever you're purchasing these through, and make sure that if you're selecting that type of product, you're using the correct one for your environment. Hopefully we'll have some tempering of these heat waves coming through here at the end of the week. Uh, once we get some nice cooler air temperatures, we'll get some temperature inversions during the day to the nighttime hours, and that'll work up some nice dews for those of us who are wide dropping. We'll be able to put that liquid UAN right into the root zone at the base of the plant. Hope everyone has a safe side dress season and we'll talk to you again really soon.